Greg Gruff and Omar Mance, the men's basketball coach here at Trevecca, and uh, it is Findlay today, and the Oilers come in. It's like not like you played uh, the worst team in the league on Thursday, and you certainly aren't playing the worst team in the league on Saturday. In fact, you're playing the, the teams that are tied for first in the conference. Yeah, we're playing some tough teams, and our, our guys are excited. You know, uh, NCAA team, obviously, Finley, a championship mm -hmm. uh, pedigree. Uh, but the way this year is, some of the fans may not know, we're doing a rating system for the conference tournament. So when you play good teams like we are and you get a win, it counts for more than just a win. Yeah. Obviously, the win counts, but – we're, we're right in a place where we're, we're fighting for that last spot to get in the conference tournament. And this game tonight uh, it, it would pay a lot of dividends uh, if we want to make a shot to get in there. Well, and, and, if, and help me because I, I haven't looked at it in a couple of weeks. I've slept a couple of times, and it wasn't at a Holiday Inn Express. So uh, if you lose and you don't lose by a certain point margin, you can actually get more points than if you just lost. Yeah, lost regular. you get points no matter what. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so when you play great teams like Hillsdale on Thursday, that was a great game for us confidence-wise because mm -hmm. the second half was so good. Uh, but it, it actually counted for a little more points than just losing a, a tougher game. Uh, and the same thing for today. We, we, we want to go out and play like we did in the second half versus Hillsdale uh, because Finley is very similar. Traditional bigs. Very similar for us for our pack line. Mm -hmm. uh, they match up with us, and it helps us. Uh, it helps our bigs. Adam Webb coming off a career high. Uh, it, it will help us regardless. We want to win, obviously, uh, but it helps us in the long run to prepare. And uh, the last four games we play are against teams that are vying for that. You know, there's 6-12 that we played the last four games, all vying for a spot in the conference tournament, and so it's exciting. Uh, a team like Hillsdale, going back to Hillsdale on Thursday, and the pack line did a pretty good job on the front line guys. And for them to win, they've got to have a guy like Lowry yep. come through and had a big game. And so that's the that's the thing. You, they have to have somebody like that. And, and unfortunately, Hillsdale and Finley are teams that usually have a Lowry out there. <laughs> yeah. And I was trying to think there's a couple other examples this year where you guys did a great job shutting down with the pack line, but then they had somebody else that was better. So those are games that are going to be a challenge until your roster gets a little deeper. Right. But at the same time, you guys stayed in a game that a lot of people probably didn't think you should have against Hillsdale, right? Well, and we told our guys, and we watched film, and we, we talked about it. If we didn't have such a bad start in the first yeah. half, yeah. you know, we, we would have probably taken the lead, and, and now the pressure's back on them. Yeah. Uh, and that's what we hope for today versus Finley. We want to get off to a great start. The last time we played Finley, at Finley in that environment, which is phenomenal, yeah. we took the lead. We were up in the first half, mm -hmm. late in that first half versus them. And they were, they were looking for a reason, how, uh, finding how to score against yeah. our pack line. So we come confident from the last half of Hillsdale, playing a good team that we were up on on the road. Uh, I'm excited to see how our guys respond because, to your point, uh, they don't have that elite shooter. Mm -hmm. uh, Linder is a great shooter. You yeah. guys will see Schmock is a good shooter as the point guard. Uh, but Lowry for Hillsdale was a, a phenomenal yeah. shooter. He's almost and, a 1,000 career points. And he, uh, he, he kind of broke our back when we made that mm -hmm. run on Thursday. Tonight, uh, they don't have that guy. They don't have that All-American like they had before with yeah. Trey Smith, you know. So this yeah. is a great, great challenge for us. Uh, one of the things about uh, this team playing, and especially on, against Hillsdale, is some guys that I know have been working, it started to pay off on the court. And that just makes it even better, doesn't it? Because then they, then they can see that. I mean, I'm thinking of Adam Webb in particular is a guy, Gabriel McKay, uh, guys that have worked hard that, they got some success on the court, and that makes it even easier for them to get back in the gym, right? Yeah, we, we, we tell our staff, I said, as we're building this program, year two, you want us to get our lumps now, you know, yeah. play through some mistakes. Adam Well played a, a season-high 30-plus uh, minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's kind of been monitoring his, his health and make sure he's healthy, and he 16 points, eight rebounds, four blocks. Yeah. Uh, that's You're pretty, that every pretty night, phenomenal right? in the conference against the number yeah. one tied team. Chris Rogers, 20 points again against the elite teams in our conference. And like I said, uh, uh, Gabriel McKay, does, he came to us to, to watch film on Friday and said, hey, coach, I just need to focus on all the little things. Mm -hmm. and, and that's winning basketball. He's, his dad is a coach of yep. a winning program. He knows that the little things will pay dividends. And, and for our fans, it's exciting how we finish the year. Yep. But what's even more exciting is the future that we're building. These are freshmen and, and juniors that will be back next year with all this experience. Uh, and year three is the year where I'm saying, okay, it, it's go time. All right. He's Coach Omar Mance. It's Finley up next here on TNUTrojans.com.